What's happening guys, Keith here with your November 8th edition of the Impact Report. So today I'll be talking about the Press Pass Conference, which took place yesterday with the guests Johnny Impact and Killer Cross. Uh, both those men will be in the Impact World title match tonight on Impact. Uh, so we open the call with Josh saying that the BCW 25th anniversary show, which will be used as an Impact One Night Only event, which will air next Friday November 16th on the Global Wrestling Network. Uh, Josh hypes this week's Impact special episode called Final Hour. We have Moose versus Eddie Edwards. Eli Drake and Joseph Park talk about their new lawsuit against Impact Wrestling. Brian Cage goes to Ohio to face Sammy Callahan. We get the debut of Jordan Grace. The Lucha Brothers face the OGs. And, like I said before, Johnny Impact will defend his Impact World Championship against Killer Cross. Looks to be a great show. That is tonight at 10 p.m. Uh, he also hypes the Vegas tapings, which take place this upcoming Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I would assume these will bring us all the way to Homecoming, which takes place in the beginning of January. So we get Johnny and Cross on at this point. Johnny is compared to Drew Galloway as being a fighting champion, which ultimately cost him. Johnny says, just because it didn't work out for him doesn't mean it won't work out for me. He says that he will continue to show up and fight. Uh, Killer Cross is asked what the title means to him. He diverts that question. He talks about how he and Johnny know each other. Cross says Johnny went to Impact and left Cross in Mexico to rot. When Cross came to Impact, Johnny pretended like he didn't know him, even though he was a referral from Johnny. Uh, Johnny tells Cross to go back to Mexico. He says he left Mexico to go to Impact because he did everything he could in AAA. Johnny says if anyone is ready for Cross in the ring, it is him. He knows the man he will be facing. Uh, Killer Cross says that Johnny Impact is like Superman. He can do things that other people can't, but in Impact, he's like Clark Kent. He needs to have his back up against the wall. His back was up against the wall in Mexico, and that's the John that Cross knew. Uh, Johnny says that he is the Impact champion. He says that Cross has a delusional narrative and doesn't deserve the world championship unless he can beat him tomorrow night. Um, this whole show, or I should say the whole uh, podcast as they call it, really did a good job showcasing this feud between the two men. They have history in Mexico, in Impact. I mean, they talk a little bit more, bit more about it once uh, callers were able to ask questions. But this is, I don't know, something that needs to be made more public for people. I mean, it's obviously available through their Facebook and their YouTube page, but it generally only gets about 10,000 views. And uh, I don't know, it's something they really need to build on because, again... When they have a big title match like this, they really, really use this platform to build that and tell a story. But unfortunately, not that many people will be able to uh, view this, which is kind of why I did this show. I understand that people don't have an hour to sit down and listen to everything. So that's why I break it down in 10 minutes or so, so everybody can uh, get what they needed from the call in a uh, timely manner. All right, so now we moved on to questions that were asked by the callers. Uh, Cross is asked if he had an insurance policy for his match. Cross says he doesn't need any insurance, and he tells Johnny to bring a neck brace. Johnny says he wouldn't be surprised if anybody shows up for Killer Cross. Uh, Johnny is asked what's left for Johnny Impact in the wrestling business since he's accomplished so much. He says he is always wanting to elevate his game personally, and he wants to keep that Impact World Championship. Uh, Cross is asked if he has always been attracted to that vicious fighting sh slash shoot fighting. Cross says it's me or him. People are tuning in to see violence, and violence equals ratings. Cross is asked about Aries' approach he used when facing Johnny, and if Aries comes back, will he align himself with him? Cross said whatever Austin did in his match wasn't enough, and if he does come back, we will see what happens. At this point, Johnny says it's company policy to talk very little about Aries and keep any Aries questions short. Very interesting that that was noted. Um, both men are then asked who is someone they've worked with outside of Impact that they would like to see in Impact. Cross says Chris Jericho. Johnny agrees with him. And then Johnny also says 
the guys from the elite, especially Hangman Page. He feels he is very underrated. Completely agree there. It will be interesting to see where those men show up as uh, the elite says they are no longer a part of Bullet Club. Uh, they are asked what the homecoming pay-per-view means to them with its rich history and impact. Johnny says wrestling is all about nostalgia. He says it's an honor to go and wrestle there. Cross says they have big plans for impact, and it seems like a fitting time to revisit it. Uh, Cross was asked about the attack that took place a few weeks ago after Johnny had his match with Phoenix, and if it was premeditated. This was really good. Cross says, to be completely frank with you, John zigged where he should have zagged. I was honestly going to get a cup of coffee. I happened to see him there. He had an excellent match with Phoenix. In my opinion, probably the match of the year. I decided to wrap a cable cord around his head. That's really all there is to it. And then at this point, Cross kind of talked about uh, the personal history between both men. Uh, he says, he had it coming. He's had it coming for a long time. In terms of our history, John and his wife now, Taya, were in Mexico crushing the competition, taking over the industry. Typically, he does always does that wherever he goes. This guy had nuclear heat. Cross continued to say that Johnny and Taya called him to watch their back in Mexico, and he obliged. He would then show something almost resembling emotion when he admitted he thought the two were friends. I thought there was this something a little bit more than just professionalism there, Cross said. Maybe I thought, maybe I thought John and I were friends. Johnny responds by saying, my version isn't even that different. The difference, um, sorry, the things Cross just said about Mexico are true. We trained down there. I didn't have anybody to turn to. I was down there with my wife, Taya. Cross, Taya, and I all had each other's backs. I did think we were friends, and the one thing that confuses me is Killer Cross has always been undefeated since coming to Impact. He's never been pinned. Two weeks ago, I make this statement about how I'm going to be a fighting champion. I'm going to give title shots to anyone I think deserves them. Somebody who is undefeated and unde unbeaten deserves a title shot. If you wanted a title shot, bro, you could have just asked me. Uh, I took that little bit of... Uh, from the call that was posted actually on SE Scoops. I think they were the ones that asked the question. Uh, Johnny is asked if he could cast Killer Cross in one of his movies, what would be the perfect role for him? Johnny says there is a book called The Demon. It's about a guy who does everything right, but as the stories go, things aren't enough, to which he ultimately ends himself because nothing is enough. At this point, Cross tells Johnny that he's pissing him off, which he did numerous times throughout the call. Uh, Cross is asked where all the malice comes from. He says that he has no malice toward John. They once had common ground, but that is now dead. Uh, Johnny is asked about defending his title in Alaska next year and if there is anywhere else he would like to defend it. Uh, he says he is ex excited about going to Alaska as he has never been there before. Uh, he says he would like to defend it in Monaco and Patagonia, uh, amongst another other uh, foreign lands. Uh, Cross is asked about his previous monikers, and he says that the people see him as Killer Cross, but he didn't give that name to himself. Johnny says he should be a little more positive and smile. Cross says he'll smile when he beats him tomorrow night. Uh, Cross is asked for his final thoughts. Cross says Johnny can't be shocked. Things ended up this way. He's watched Johnny be the star everywhere they went, and he thinks people need to hurt him in order to ch need to be hurt in order to change. And that moment is coming for Johnny, and then comes with harm. Uh, Johnny is asked for his final thoughts, and Johnny says he's right about being a franchise player everywhere he goes. He says it's no coincidence. It's because he's good at what he does. He might be changed by tomorrow, but it won't be on his terms. But there is no way in hell he is leaving with the Impact World Championship. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this was a really good call. It really built the story between Killer Cross and Johnny Impact. I just wish more people were able to hear it. It would probably make people a little more invested in it. Um, Impact announced that there will be no media call next week, uh, but there will be one the week after, so I will cover that one. Um, I will actually have my Impact review up tomorrow. I actually got the day off, so that will be good. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please let me know what you thought in the comments section below. And until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. Did you like that video?
If so, click here to check out more great content. Thank you for supporting the Clock Cleaners Podcast.